Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Manu. So, um, a couple of videos ago, we showed you a couple of townhouses, and um, in Australia, we, we call them terrace houses. Uh, anyone that lives in Sydney terrace would know. Houses. Yeah, terrace house. But here they're called townhouses, and, or as the owner here likes to call it, a town home, and they're uh, all attached dwellings. Yeah, we're here in Tapria Soi Ten, which counts as Pradumnak. So yeah, so just up there is Tapia Road. That's the red light there, just the, there to the left when yeah. you go out. And so it's just up there. Very good location. So you've got the bar bus and everything up there. Yeah. And uh, we'll go and have a look at this. Uh, we'll have a look at this townhouse, which has um, been renovated. Everything's been done. Okay. So it's ready to move in, basically. And how many we'll, bedrooms? This is four bedrooms. Four bedroom, right? five bath. Okay. And we'll show you. It doesn't look the same as the two townhouses we showed you before. So it might be interesting to see. Okay, cool. Let's go and have a look. I like this old Merc here. Yeah, it's C180 with the big exhaust. Nice big AMG wheels. Well, no, not AMG, but it's an Avant guard. Aftermarket wheels, huh? Aftermarket wheels, yeah, not bad. They lowered it too. And this nice old S class. Okay, so. Townhouse owner is Aussie. Townhouse, Perfect, yes. right? Perfect. Um, So they've got food carts here, but that's what the building looks like. We'll go inside. So here's the entrance, and there's the parking. And you can see they've got a little Nissan March. They call them a March here, but micro in Australia. And yeah, I'm inside the house already. It's matter It's nice and cool in here. <laughs> yeah, this is what they've done. You know, townhouses usually don't look like this. It's like a how do you call it? A Victorian. Victorian no. style. Is it? I don't know. It's just saying board. <laughs> just saying thumb stuff. But this is where they did the living area, basically. You have to buy your own TV. Have to buy your own, oh, there's no TV. There's here. no TV here, yeah. Does it come furnished? It comes furnished like this. Okay. Then you can see the car park from here. Yes. It's quite good for me to toss in the groceries. And the, you know? That's true, through the window. Right. Great That's idea, man. <laughs> for the lazy people, basically. Then you have one of the bathrooms here. Okay. Then we enter to the dining area. By the way, that part there in the back, it's usually an open space place. But what they did here is close it off. And they're, they're into the plants. So they're planting plants in here, doing everything. But you could even put a <clears throat> dining table in here. There's a water dispenser. It's just for the plants, right? Yeah. Otherwise. <clears throat> Get the golden fork. Get the golden spoon, everything. And this is your kitchen area with an oven, microwave, those two, everything should be involved. Jason's favorite, air fryer. Yes, love my air fryer. And another AC, yeah. AC, ceiling fan. Nice this is the kit. first of four floors. So four, four floors. Jeez. Four floors, yeah, Jason's not amused or excited. Let's go up. Okay, I'll turn it off and I'll turn it back on when we get up to the next level. All right, guys, we're on the second floor. And the second floor is also where the master bedroom is. This is the master bedroom. It's an ensuite. Uh, actually, all of the 
bedrooms are en suite, which is nice. Nice perfume. And then this one has a big balcony. Oh, look at this balcony. Wow. Nice. It's quite big, huh? Yeah, yeah, they even have some lights there. Lights under the umbrella. Nice place for a morning coffee or an afternoon beer. Shall we go on to the next? Yeah, just while we're walking, do you know how many square meters? <clears throat> Living area is 380 square meters and the house sits on 108 square meters of land. 27 watt. Oh, there's a TV. Yeah, this could be the second bedroom, but they turn it into like a lounge area. <coughs> with a sofa, but it still has your walk-in. Oh yeah, en suite. En suite, yeah. This one also has a slight little balcony here. Little one. So the owner's Aussie, as we said. The owner's and Aussie, yeah. Grew up in Adelaide and then moved to Townsville. And spent most of his working life in Townsville. Yeah, he's been doing a few of these projects, you know, buying townhouses and renovating. Okay. It's quite nice, huh? So the, these freestanding, sorry, it's not freestanding, but these townhouses or townhomes don't have any maintenance fees? No, but there's one fee that's like, I think the owner told us like, pays 2,000 baht a year and they pick up his trash and Oh everything. yes, that's right. So that's almost free and you don't have no sinking fund, no, no maintenance, the cat's no coming down. Watch out, Jason. Hello, pussy. <laughs> Hello, pussy. What are you doing? I even reply hey. to you. Okay, so that's level. Oh, that's level two. We'll go up to level three. All right, guys, we're on the third floor, and the owner said this is usually where he lets his friends or guests stay over on this floor. And then we go here into the third bedroom. Doesn't look like a bedroom, right? Has a kitchen and everything. But this is a Murphy bed. Wow. So you can pull it down and sleep there. These are such a great idea. Murphy bed? Yeah. Quite cool, huh? We've got to go and check out that there's a shop down in Chaipur. Someone's, someone's told me about that sells them. A nice thing to sell. Go and check those out. Oh. And the cat's following us. Hey, puss. There's a little balcony here as well. Oh, so yeah, Manila was saying that the owners generally, their guests stay here. So yeah, on the third they, floor. If they've got any Away from all the... So it's, as you can see, it's self-contained. Little kitchen and ensuite too. En suite. Shower. It's quite convenient too that you know you have a kitchen here. You don't have to go to the first floor. Then this is the last bedroom here, and then we go to up to the highlight. I think he said originally this was the master bedroom, but then they took the second floor because it had a bigger balcony and I think bigger size overall. And what they did here was in the ensuite, actually your washing machine is in there. Okay. But if you want to put a shower in, you just have to take it out and then you can 
fucking the water there. It's quite spacious rooms though. Yeah. This one's nice, I like it. It's also interesting to see townhouses like this because I've seen a lot of townhouses in Thailand. And I've never seen one like this. A little bit of use. Well, I did ask. I did ask Bill, and um, he thinks it was built in the seventies. In the late seventies. But he said the material is really good. From yeah, it's the very first solid. Initial construction. Yeah. You can feel that. So we only have one floor left, guys. Okay. The highlight of this property. You'll see why. Right there. All right, guys. Fourth floor, last floor. This was used to be. Bill said a Maid? maid's room. So they turned it into a little like preparation area for, for the rooftop here that they have. Oh, so yes. you can prepare your food and food here. Then there's a fridge. A fridge. That's so you don't have to walk all the way down, get yes. everything. Even a little sofa. Sofa bed, I think he said. And then this is the highlight. They have this nice little rooftop here. Yeah. A terrace in the terrace house. A t terrace? I'll call it rooftop. Rooftop. But you get some nice views from here, actually. He said during the evening it's really nice. And we even see a bit of the sea. We see some water. Oh. Oh, yeah, Pradamak Park Tower. Yeah. And you can see the water through there. I heard you can take a gondola down or something. <laughs> a zip line. Yes, same thing. Same thing. <laughs> so yeah, this would be quite nice sitting up here at night. By the way, this house here, just on the left, is the one we looked at previously. Gotcha. But I think the views are nice from here. Not bad, you see some of the towers, bit of the ocean, can't really see a lot. Is that Andromeda? That's Panora. Oh, Panora. Yeah. Jeez, okay. And so Panora, Panora's on um, Soy 5, Pranamak, down towards the big 7-Eleven on the corner. Exactly. Okay. There's Copa there. Copa, Copa, Copa. I have to point out Copa. Oh. No, that's, isn't hey. that, is that Copa Cabana straight through there? The left one is Grand Caribbean. Yeah. And that one in the back, that's Copa, the big one, the okay. golden one. My favorite. All right, we'll wrap up downstairs. Wrap up downstairs, okay. Oh, hang on, price, we haven't talked about the yeah, price. Yeah, price, I was gonna say the price. <laughs> Sorry. So, price is 7.99 million, and it comes fully furnished with everything you see. Everything you see. So may, they maybe take some plants away. Yeah. That could be it, but I think some of the people won't want this many plants, right? They really like gardening, so. They're also retired, so it keeps them busy. Nice, definitely something different. It's good. And just again, 380 square meters of living area on 27 WA of land, which is times four, 108. And no body corporate or maintenance. Applicable. Yeah, the, the only maintenance really is the people oh, that pick the, up the trash. The, the council, that's like, like the council yeah. fee kind of thing, as we would refer to in Australia. Yeah, because the roads have to pass here to the condos, right? So some of the trucks pass here to the condos there. So they'll always pick up your trash and everything almost daily i'd say it's really nice okay oh we'll wrap up here so um what do you think of a townhouse or a townhome or as we call them in australia a terrace yeah in pradamac something different to a condo and a and a villa love to hear your comments yeah I'd like to hear what you guys think about this yes townhouses or villas townhouses or villas condos we've got everything to show you everything anyway thanks for watching everyone see you guys see ya